Corrine Brown, a former longtime United States representative from Florida, was convicted on Thursday of taking for herself thousands of dollars in donations that were meant to fund student scholarships. Miss Brown, 70, served in the House of Representatives for more than two decades and was one of the first African Americans elected to Congress from Florida. But she lost her seat in a primary election in August, just weeks after she was indicted on federal conspiracy and fraud charges. In all, a federal jury in Jacksonville, Florida, found Miss Brown guilty on 18 of the 22 counts in an indictment that charged her with conspiring with others to run the fraudulent charity, filing false tax returns and other crimes, according to the Justice Department. She faces a lengthy prison term. No sentencing date has been set. Former Congresswoman Corrine Brown violated the public trust, the honor of her position and the integrity of the American system of government when she abused one of the most powerful positions in the nation for her own personal gain, Kenneth A. Blanco, the acting assistant attorney general, said in a statement. She shamefully deprived needy children of hundreds of thousands of dollars that could have helped with their education and improve their opportunities for advancement, and she lied to the IRS and the American public about secret cash deposits into her personal bank accounts. Continue reading the main story. In a statement provided by her lawyer, James Smith, Miss Brown said that, while she respected the jury's decision, she disagreed with it. I did not commit these crimes, and I intend to file a motion for a new trial, she said. This fight is not over, and as I am sure you know, I will continue to fight to clear my name and restore my reputation. Prosecutors said Miss Brown, a Democrat who lives in Jacksonville, was aided in the conspiracy by her former chief of staff, Elias Simmons, known as Ronnie, and Carla Wiley, the president of the fraudulent charity. Mr. Simmons and Miss Wiley have pleaded guilty to their roles in the scheme, the Justice Department said. Brown participated from 2012 to 2016, according to evidence presented at the trial. Through the fraudulent charity, One Door for Education, Amy Anderson Scholarship Fund, prosecutors said, Miss Brown, along with Mr. Simmons, Miss Wiley and others, solicited more than $800,000 in charitable donations by telling donors their money would be used to fund college scholarships, school computers and other causes. Donors testified that Miss Brown sought donations from people and businesses she knew through her connections in the House of Representatives. But trial evidence showed that one door awarded only two scholarships totaling $1,200. Instead of using the money to cover students' education expenses, prosecutors said, Mr. Simmons deposited tens of thousands of dollars into Miss Brown's personal bank accounts. In one instance, Simmons deposited $2,100 of one-door funds into Brown's personal bank account the same day that Brown paid $2,057 to the IRS for taxes she owed, the Justice Department said in its statement. According to the Justice Department's statement, trial evidence also showed that more than $300,000 in one-door funds were used to pay for events either hosted by Brown or held in her honor. Those events included a golf tournament in Florida, receptions during an annual conference in Washington, and the use of a luxury box during a concert and a professional football game, prosecutors said. After a historic Nearly 25-year career representing Florida in Congress, former U.S. Representative Corrine Brown was found guilty on Thursday of taking money from a charity that was purported to be giving scholarships to poor students. The verdict came after prosecutors outlined a pattern of fraud by Brown, 70, and her top aide that included using hundreds of thousands of dollars from the One Door for Education Foundation for lavish parties, trips and shopping excursions. She was convicted of 18 of the 22 charges against her, including lying on her taxes and on her congressional financial disclosure forms. Wearing a lavender suit, Brown watched the judge read each verdict in a silent courtroom with no visible reaction. She later left the courthouse holding on to the arm of a companion, surrounded by dozens of reporters.
A few supporters shouted we love you Corrine. And keep the faith. As she silently made her way to a waiting car. Brown, a Democrat who was one of the first three African Americans to be elected to Congress from Florida since Reconstruction, represented the district that included Jacksonville since 1993. Since her indictment last summer, she had been publicly defiant to the government's charges, saying in a statement she was among black elected officials who have been persecuted. She had pleaded not guilty to all of the charges, including the fraud, but lost re-election last fall after her indictment. Former Congresswoman Corrine Brown violated the public trust, the honor of her position, and the integrity of the American system of government when she abused one of the most powerful positions in the nation for her own personal gain, acting Assistant Attorney General Kenneth A. Blanco, said in a statement after the verdict. Key to the government's conviction was the testimony of Brown's former chief of staff, Elias Ronnie Simmons, and the charity's president, Carla Wiley. Both pleaded guilty after their federal indictments for misusing the charity's funds, and testified against Brown. Federal prosecutors said Brown and her associates used one door to bring in more than $800,000 between 2012 and 2016 including a high-profile golf tournament at TPC Sawgrass. Brown's indictment said the Virginia-based one door only gave out one scholarship for $1,200 to an unidentified person in Florida. Simmons said Brown ordered him to take cash and checks from one door's account. On dozens of occasions, Simmons said he was told to take out of one door's account the maximum $800 from an ATM near his house and deposit hundreds of it in Brown's personal account. Sometimes he kept some for himself. Brown testified in her own defense, saying she was left in the dark about the goings-on with one door's money, and blamed the theft on Simmons. Brown said she left those details to Simmons and other hired staffers and said she should have paid more attention to her personal and professional finances. Jax reports that Brown will not immediately go to jail. She will be sentenced in 90 days or more. Jax adds that Rep. Al Lawson said his thoughts and prayers are with Brown and her family. He had won Brown's seat in the November election. It came quicker than we thought, Lawson said in a statement to Jax. Our thoughts and prayers are with her and her family. She's done a lot for this community and can't take that away from her.